Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Let's do another video. Uh, I've been trying to do some of these videos from TradingView to translate over to YouTube. For some reason, it's not working. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to still work on it. But if you want to come down to TradingView and you can watch the videos over there. Uh, I'm going to also post them on Patreon.com slash Real Macro. So don't forget to come down there. You can like, subscribe, support, do whatever you want to do. Uh, you can watch them there. And I'll uh, start making the videos back here on YouTube a little bit. Uh, just to kind of, um, uh, you know, keep it going. So, uh, do you remember three years ago? Um, in fact, uh, it was uh, April 9th, 2018, when Norman called the mother of all shorts in the dollar to solidify your wealth. You want to short the dollar. Remember that? Right? How insane was that? But, you know, that's the problem, that it's extremely, extremely, extremely fucking difficult to tell people what reality is it is because they get caught up in cute stories they they look at the trump bots right look at the oh it's a liberal hoax COVID is a liberal hoax people believed it they killed themselves believing it there you know people just run with ideas uh, that some loud mouth is uh, you know spouting off and oh yeah this is the way it is oh, oh, oh. right remember the gold bugs remember the peak oilers remember Right, this goes on over and over and over and over again. And again, if it takes me three years to come back and tell you that what Norman was saying and MMT is saying that higher interest rates are inflationary, then so be it. I'll be right here. I'm going to be telling you, look, I told you so. It was wrong. Okay, so let's listen to uh, to Normie. Let's listen to what he's got to say. So the greatest trade you can possibly make right now, which would absolutely solidify your wealth, is to be short the dollar. Okay. All right. How wrong was he? How wrong was he? And how wrong has he been? So what's causing now commodity inflation? Excessive deficits, zero interest rate policy, endless QE, endless uh, lending facilities from the Fed, that is what's causing commodity inflation. That's what's causing the dollar to go down. You're not going to see it in CPI inflation. As I told you before, the profit mechanism is going to suck money out of the productive economy. The household income to savings equals profit savings for the top 5%. That means that the monetary inflation is not going to happen in the productive economy where the CPI is measuring. It's going to happen in asset prices and uh, what I call the savings bubble. So you look at asset prices today. Where are they? Look at nominal home prices, right? Home, not, nominal home prices are going through the roof. Look at the stock market going through the roof. You know, th this is this is not my vague hunches and feelings you can go out and check the data for yourself here's labor force participation look at that it's been going down since 2000 right but we've we've stimulated for the people right we've added 18 trillion dollars in deficits in public debt since 2007 13 years ago 2008 2007 13 years 14 years ago how much real GDP have we gotten for it? Three trillion. Three trillion. So you're gonna spend 18 trillion in deficits to only get three trillion in 13, 14 years of economic growth? That's a disaster. What kind of rate of return is that? It's a disaster. What about the stock market? All-time highs. With less people in the in the uh, labor force participation. With weekly unemployment claims that are still a year after COVID are 500 plus thousand and they, they were 700 plus thousand for a year okay and you spent five six trillion dollars to stimulate the economy for the people no look at the Fed are we still in recession well yeah <laughs> we're at 18.5 trillion we haven't grown of course we're in a recession this is actually a depression, not even a recession. But we, we, we deficit spent. We should be growing, right? We should be, quote unquote, stimulating. Look at the nominal home prices, right? They, you know, 
far exceed what it was in 2000, nominally, of course. Right? Asset price inflation. Go look at lumber. Go look at copper. You know, when is inflation? Now. Now we have the inflation. When interest rates are zero, excessive deficits. We are literally pr printed 30% uh, to real GDP in deficits in a year. Think about that. Think about that. So you want to listen to MMT? You want to listen to this, this, this clown, Mike Norman, right? Mosler, Kelton with her deficit myth book? Go ahead. Listen to them. They're not going to tell you what the real story is. They're not. They, these people, they're just uh, they're clowns. They're clowns with big mouths. That's it. Telling people what they want to hear. That you can have free this, you can have free that, you can have the other thing free and that free and everything is free. We're all going to sit home, government's just going to print, and we're all going to be rich. Huh, unbelievable. Again, I'll, I'll come back three years from now and <laughs> You know, we'll, we'll discuss it again. I'll show you how wrong they were back then, which is today, uh, about their stimulus. It doesn't work. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I'm telling you, the next $18 trillion that we're going to print <laughs> is not even going to give us uh, a, a real GDP of, of, of $3 trillion. It's going to give us half of that, if we're lucky. And then the next $18 trillion after that, will give us even less. That's because the government cannot print value for a currency, can't print an economy, can't do none of the, those things. It can only print digits, and digits are worthless. All right, take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.